This is just gonna be a quick kind of off the cuff video. I'm gonna go over how I mounted our Easy ABL Pro system to my Ender 3 S1 and the connections. It's not super complicated, but I felt it was different enough to warrant recording a little video before I button it up and put it into service. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So this is just a quick video showing you guys what I did to install the Easy ABL Mini on my Ender 3 S1. So as I talked before, I was going to do a live build, but life got in the way. And so I figured I'd just do a little quick recording here to show you guys how I did it on my machine. The main difference between this printer and the other ones that we have installed the Easy ABL on is that this does not have a Z end stop switch because it comes with the CR Touch. Now, Creality did include a Z end stop cable along with a Z end stop in the package, at least on the model we have. So if you look in here, I'm using the included Z end stop cable that came with the printer and I'm just going right into here. If you, like I said, you can also just go right into the two pin screw terminal here if you have a cable that only has the three pin plug on one end. But as far as I'm aware, these S1 printers all came with this cable and Z end stop. So when I put the bottom cover back on, I want to make sure that all the wires are in their proper locations. So let me just go ahead and kind of get that on there and just move the cables around and make sure nothing's getting pinched before you tighten everything down. You can see here we have plenty of room to span out these cables to pass them into the bottom of the printer enclosure. So just make sure you don't pinch them. This is how I'm mounting it on my machine here. I kind of like this because the ABL control board is out of the way. There's actually a little M4 screw here that's really long and it goes right through our easy ABL control board. So the last thing I want to go over is just how I have this mounted onto the printer here. You can see I'm using the 12 millimeter specific mount and I have the sensor wire secured here with the existing hot end cables. Now I did not fully tighten these down. I'm just using these zip ties as a guide to hold the sensor wire with the flat cable and I have this secured all the way down back to the control box housing here and that's really the best way to route it on this machine. So now since I'm not using the CR touch anymore I have completely disconnected this from the printer and the nice thing is it actually does have a disconnect plug and this just unplugs from the back of here and you don't even need to take the hot end apart to get this out. So the mount for both our 18 and 12 millimeter sensor, they both use the standard M3 screws that mount the CR touch and this goes right in the stock location of the CR touch. This does have the dual Z with the belt linking at the top. So I wanna make sure that this gantry is level with the printer frame because if the gantry is not level with the printer frame, it's gonna throw off the readings from any of the ABL sensors, whether it's ours or it's a CR touch because it's a bed leveling sensor. It's not going to account for if your gantry is off. So your gantry should be level with the printer frame, meaning the distance from the bottom on the left and the right to the frame of the printer should be the same on either side. And that's an adjustment that I'm going to have to do. And this printer is not correctly adjusted right now. And this is how it came from the factory. So I hope this little run through before I go ahead and button this up was helpful. So you can see kind of how to mount things on the Ender 3S1. This is going to be used as one of my personal machines for a while until I get tired of it or something new and shiny comes along. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.